You know what? I think we can see each other more. My Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G review took me 15 days to finish. The script for this video is 26 pages long and it's not copy paste, it's handwritten. Doesn't have to be that way. We can be spontaneous, we can see each other more often, nothing is stopping us, especially through these times. We can be uh, by ourselves, we can be isolated, but we don't need to be alone. That's why I came up with this series where we share tips and tricks about products. Now I want to call this series um, Quick Tech, Tech Quickie or something like that, but it was taken by this uh, new upcoming guy, tech guy, Linus. I didn't want to, you know, stop him from using that name. So I want to come up with Tech Snack, you know, Snack. Uh, but that was taken as well. So guys, it's my second language. Give me a break. But I don't give up. That's why I'm very proud to announce my new series. Just the tip. What's that? And of course, just like Jimmy Fallon, Colbert and the other YouTubers, I'm not at my studio. And somewhere else, all the background and the lighting and everything is different, just like their broadcasts right now. Now, let's take our minds away from the insanity and let me show you a cool trick on the iPad. Apple released the mouse support for iPad a while ago. It was in um, accessibility and I made a video about it. Now, they're implementing the mouse support to iPad. Let me give you Tim Cook hands. Good morning. Good morning. So, the Apple, the very Apple, that's one said, don't you, don't you think we tested the touch screen on a laptop? Don't you think we didn't think about that? It's not ergonomic. The very Apple <laughs> that said that. Now they're bringing the mouse support to the iPad with a keyboard and a trackpad and they call it a computer and it has a touch screen. Okay, um, okay, I can already see Jack's films making a couple of parodies about this. But if all this makes these products more useful in the end, who cares? We'll, we'll make fun and then we'll move on. It's like that brother you have in the family. Whatever he does, he can be Brad Pitt, but if he's your little brother, you're gonna make fun of him. That's how it works. Now, Apple says you can connect your magic mouse, magic trackpad, fairy tales. I like to connect my MX Master because this is what I use and this is what I use all the time. And I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks. Now, of course, connecting your mouse, iPad is very simple. You simply go into your Bluetooth settings and then there's MX Master. You tap on it, hit pair, and there it is. This is the mouse icon. I actually like this a lot because it changes shape according to where you are. You go here, turns into that. You can drag these up and down as you wish. And then you go here, it changes shape to that. Very good. Down here, swipe up. Menu pops up. Very simple, very easy. You get used to it immediately. Very clever and I like it a lot. There are a lot of gestures you can do with Magic Mouse and Magic Trackpad that you cannot do with MX Master. Also, you can see the battery level of the mouse here. Very good. But there are so many buttons on this, so can we do more? Yes, we can do more. Let's go into settings. Oh, scrolling doesn't work. Disconnect, connect back. Now scrolling works. This is in beta, I'm sure they're gonna fix it. Let's go into accessibility. Touch, assistive touch, we're gonna turn this on and then we're gonna go into devices and as you can see MX Master is there, we're gonna tap on that. Customize additional buttons and then you're gonna click whatever button you wanna use. This one, let's say that is volume down, go back. Let's add another button, this time I wanna add this volume up, perfect. Let's add another one. Um, what shall we? App switcher. All right. So now, whenever I click on this, 
it's the app switcher and it, I can turn the volume up and down using these buttons. And the scroll that I have under my thumb kind of works. Whenever there's a text, as you can see, the icon changes shape as well. So you can select that, you can right click, you can copy, you can do the regular stuff you do on the mouse. Well, thank you very much for watching Just a Tip. What tips do you have? Let me know in the comment section below. Maybe in the next episode, we will talk about that. Also, ask me anything. Let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation. Have you discovered any tips or tricks that you feel like no one else has on Mac OS or iOS? Because I think I have two. If you do, let me know in the comment section below. I mean, a pillow. Keep calm, wash your hands, and I'll see you very soon.